Hello, everyone. I'm Marcel. Welcome back to a special edition of The Pulse. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to thank Brad Stanfield for his recent appearances in the comment section of the previous video that I made, uh, which was uh, about him and about Rapamycin and about Matt Caberline uh, and the issues that we've been discussing since his big video recently uh, about snake oil and David Sinclair. I want to thank Brad. He's been a good sport. Um, I wasn't I'm not in agreement with him on a lot of things surrounding NMN and even David Sinclair. I found myself defending David Sinclair when I'm something I haven't been used to doing for a while. But Brad's been a really good sport. He's reached out here uh, through the comments. He's reached out personally in email. And I'm going to respond to that in a, in a little bit. It's not a teaser, but there's a reason. I want to go through a few points. And I do want to make a counter offer to him. And I would like to get him more involved here. And I think I've got, I think I've come up with an idea that makes a lot of sense for him, for me, for our audience, and everybody will win. So I want to share that with you. But I do want to thank him uh, first for saying, hey, first of all, for coming over here and saying that I don't want NMN ban. And of course, making an offer to appear and speak. Now, this channel is extremely NMN-centric, and yes, it's somewhat by design, uh, but I want to explain why that is, because a lot of people pose some theories, uh, and I want to talk about the audience breakdown, because I think it'll also shed a lot of light for people who do read comments, watch the video content, and sort of draw conclusions by the combination of the two, which is not the complete story. So I want to fill some of that in with actual data and show you what the audience looks like and what the audience is interested here in because I have researched that pretty uh, thoroughly and I do want to, to share that with you guys today. Now what happened with me when I started taking NMN and I'm not going to go into the whole history here right now but I was looking for other people other than just David Sinclair. I was never happy just hearing David Sinclair's story about NMN. So I was looking for people who had been taking it for a while. Vince at my NMN experiment was one of them. And there were a few others as well. And what I found myself doing was watching them, checking back a few weeks later, watching them again. So I decided when I had a good experience taking NMN that I would make a firsthand account video channel and that I would post frequently and let people decide for themselves. And it would also be a recording mechanism for me to sort of see for myself how I was doing and sort of motivate me to do more, more exercise, better diet, better sleep, drink less alcohol, eat less sugar, and sort of gauge the results uh, because it's not always easy making big life changes. So it became an accountability mechanism for me and it's really helped guide me along. Uh, then the NMN band came along and it became clear to me that I was fighting for more than just myself at that point because we had already had a few thousand people and now we're over 10,000 people taking NMN just through this channel. I talked about the audience makeup a minute ago, but I'm gonna get into that in more detail. And so I realized, hey, this channel is NMN centric, whether I like it or not. Um, and I do like it, but I did want to talk about and had times have talked about other aspects of wellness and my health routine and athletic routine. Uh, but again, it all comes back to NMN and this really is an NMN centric channel. Then last April, when FDA apparently put NMN on a list with legit script, it caused a huge dip in traffic on this channel. So what I have now found is that if I don't post about NMN, I don't get very much traffic at all. If I do, I don't get the secondary traffic, like the second, third day traffic, fourth day traffic beyond my niche. So I've come to the conclusion, I've talked recently with the audience about this is, hey, it's us. You know, it's us against the world. It's us defending NMN. This is pretty much our community. It's not going to grow much beyond this anytime soon until this ban is over with. So let's just team together, we'll accept the smaller role that we have. And it's one reason that when Brad comes out and says something like, I don't want NMN banned, it's a big story. It helps our cause here. Or Andrew Huberman going on Joe Rogan and telling people, telling viewers and listeners to write to FDA to protest 
the NMN ban or potential ban. This is massive, just massive for us. And this is something we're going to explore more and more as we go forward, the impacts of this, especially now that the Washington Fly-In Day for Natural Products Association, where I attended last summer to help in the Team NMN effort, I've been asked again to come back. I'm not sure I can make it because it's very soon. It's right now in May, which is sooner than last year. But going into that, it puts a little wind to the back of Team NMN, having Andrew Huberman have just spoken positively about NMN and his own experience and encouraging viewers again to uh, protest the ban. So what is my offer to Dr. Stanfield? Based on all of this and based on the fact that, look, I'm I'm one of the captains of Team NMN. They call me Mr. NMN when I went to Washington, the supplement uh, heroes, the CEOs of these companies. Oh, here he is, here's Mr. NMN. So that's kind of the, the, the hat I wear, and that's not really gonna change, especially when, I, when I'm still getting the results that uh, I've been getting for the past three years. I'm very happy with NMN, and I have, as I said, thousands of viewers and family members, uh, very close family members taking NMN and getting results. I don't like to talk too much directly about the family members because I don't want to embarrass any of them. But believe me, there are close friends and family that are just thrilled with their own results taking them in. Anecdotal, albeit. This is where I want to go with you, Dr. Stanfield. What I think uh, would make a lot of sense, and I've already arranged this from the other party's side, is for you to have a discussion, not so much a debate, although you guys can certainly debate a few you know, topics or issues or agree to disagree on some things, but I'm sure you'll both be civil because you're both nice people, both good people. Uh, Dr. Xi from Genfinity Labs has agreed to discuss NMN, the issues around it, the tests that he's done. He's got 40 years as a university professor. He's done placebo, double-blind controlled human clinical trials on many substances over the decades. And he's got a lot of experience and he'll be able to talk with you uh, intelligently, well-informed. And he's also turned over hundreds of clinics uh, and thousands of people and tested thousands of people for their NAD results before and after taking NAD boosters. And not only NMN, also other substances. So he's got a treasure trove of data, a lot of experience, and firsthand accounts with people like Dr. Delaney in Boston, who's a cardiologist for 40 years in Boston. Dr. Delaney told the story of having now over hundreds of patients who would come in with heart issues and less than optimal vitals, had very low energy. What he's begun to do at his practice is first test their NAD levels. And he's he's been able to avoid prescribing statins to patients and just giving them NMN, get their NAD levels up, retest again, and then their uh, blood pressure and their heart rate and other vitals improved. So, and also their symptoms. And this has happened many, many times, well over a hundred times now in Boston. And this was Dr. Xi who connected the dots from NMN because he's a longtime friend of Dr. Delaney. Also Dr. Vonda Wright, who's been on this channel a few times. She's an orthopedic surgeon in Orlando and she's witnessed, and let's not call this anecdotal evidence, it's really clinical evidence, right? It's evidence-based practicing. And she's noticed that her patients have recovered faster when she's given them NMN from injuries and sports surgery. Also, Dr. Xi has been in consultation with doctors who have been treating Parkinson's, autism, and other heart issues, as I said, with Dr. Delaney and others, with NMN. So I think you guys can have a great conversation with your background. I'm sure that you'd be interested and walk away with some additional knowledge about this topic. And our viewers could experience the discussion and some of the pushback, some of the questioning that you will ask him. So I hope that you'll come on this channel. You can certainly repost the content and use it any, as you wish on your channel. Uh, please let me know if that's acceptable to you as a counter offer, as sort of a an evolution of your offer to discuss with me. And I would be happy to moderate that conversation and ask some of my own questions, or as I said, pass on some fewer questions as well. And I'm sure that our audience, our NMN audience, would love to hear you guys discuss this topic. Guys, if you want to see that happen, please like, subscribe, and comment below and please add your questions to this video. Speaking of the audience, 
What I wanted to share with you guys is the composition of comets and the meanings that those comets have in the scope of where this audience stands on NMN and their belief system and their support of what we're doing here at the Pulse and why I'm fighting the good fight. You will look at the comments on any given video and notice something like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 percent can be negative or counter or uh, mistrusting of what's going on, but that's not reflective of the broader audience. 98% likes are positive, not dislikes. 98% on average of the videos, and I'll show a quick uh, graphic showing you the last several videos. I think one went down to 95 because maybe it was a little contentious, or maybe I missed the mark just slightly there. And so I want to make sure that you know I adjust. And so I do listen to that roughly 1% of the viewers. I do listen almost disproportionately. Some people have complained, hey, you're, you're spending too much time focusing on negativity or some of the trolls, but I find value in it. So, and I've told people, hey, if you have something negative or if you have some pushback, like with rapamycin, where I wasn't really giving the picture that the full picture, and I'm not anti-rapamycin, right? I do support rapamycin research. I would just tell you, I'm going to tell you why rapamycin is something I do have some issues with. And this is from The Big Think. This is an article posted last year. I want you guys to take this into account when I'm talking about my feelings being a little bit, having some misgivings about rapamycin being for a wider general audience, right? I'm not sure about that specifically. Rapamycin is a paradoxal drug. It improves anti-cancer immunity, but it may also cause cancer. It protects against bacterial infection and halts viral replication, but it also suppresses the immune system. It reverses symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, but it also increases plaque deposits in the brain. It improves metabolic function, but it also causes type 2 diabetes. This list of contradictions goes on and on. However, there is one thing about rapamycin that scientists tend to agree on. It is potentially the most powerful anti-aging drug ever discovered. Unfortunately, rapamycin hasn't been lucky, and you guys can read the rest of that article. I'm going to put that first and foremost in the description. So I want to be more fair about rapamycin. My pushback there was more the inference that NMN was being given to dogs, even though you didn't connect those dots specifically, Dr. Stanfield, um, there was an inference or a suggestion that, okay, he, they're putting NMN in dog biscuits and Sinclair is selling those and he's a snake oil salesman. And I thought that was a little bit disingenuous coming from even Matt Kaberline. He does come across as authentic and respectable, um, but I thought it was a leap too far because you're throwing the baby away with the bathwater. You're throwing NMN away with the messenger in that case. David Sinclair is over the top. We agree on David Sinclair in many regards, but David Sinclair has also beat the drum for rapamycin. And he's also spread the message about Matt Caberline in positive ways through the years. So to just say, oh, NMN or suggest or infer that NMN is snake oil when I just uh, went over a list of positive uh, results that doctors are getting in clinics, not just people at home, right? It's just anecdotal evidence like myself, if you will, but actual doctors supervising these improvements and various biomarkers improving. Again, Dr. Stanfield, love to have you on with Dr. Shi to discuss this further. I welcome the discussion. One thing that I will leave you guys with is I never try to solve everything in one video. This is an ongoing story. Each one of these videos is sort of a chapter. I'm checking in, I'm updating, I'm sharing the latest information with you guys, and then we go on and we turn the page and we listen again. And if I get something wrong, I know that you guys are gonna point it out to me. And I appreciate that, it's useful, it's helpful, but do keep in mind that if you see 40, 50% negative posts in the comment section, it's not the composition of how the audience, not reflective of how this audience, thousands of people every video, 
view the content. And I'm grateful that most people, 98%, support what I'm doing here and tend to agree with the points that I'm making. And that I try to get it right, even though I'm not a researcher or a doctor. I'm a guy with some science background, right? In meteorology, in uh, audio technology, but not specifically in, in the medical field, but I've lived through this. And the purpose of this channel was never to report every single and break down every single clinical trial, I leave that to other people, I do. The purpose of this channel was to share my experience, to interview scientists and doctors when I'm able to, and allow other people to share their experiences about NMN and other supplements as well. And I think it's gone pretty well going on three years for everybody here, and I wanna thank everyone for watching, and hopefully soon we'll have some interesting content with Dr. Shi and Dr. Stanfield. Thank you. See you soon.